Bizarre political battle broke out today between the Marlin Stutzman campaign and Fort Wayne Community Schools. The Stutzman camp tried to recruit FWCS students to help campaign, and now the district is calling that inappropriate. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney joins us live from News Control to fill us in. Well, Mark and Heather, it is bizarre, all right, and it all started with a message. Earlier this week, the Marlin Stutzman camp sent out this email to several of the social studies and government teachers in the FWCS district. In it, it read, quote, we have much activity going on throughout the district, and I want to invite you and your students to be a part of it. If you have any interest in involving your students to go door to door with us, we have new BlackBerry technology that's a lot of fun to use. To to help with phone calls or to be a part of our upcoming parades, we would love to have you. Well, FWCS did not return that love. Instead, it responded with a cease and desist letter. It said, quote, we do not allow staff to campaign during work hours and recruiting students for a specific campaign is inappropriate. That, of course, caught the Stutzman camp off guard. Stutzman campaign manager says his side did not do anything wrong. Oh, in an effort to reach out to the young people of our community, uh, we we tried to engage them in the political process of uh, this election. We uh, went through proper protocol by talking, you know, request making this request to the Fort Wayne teachers themselves. Uh, it wasn't a campaign uh, push email to teachers; it was a request. Now, on top of that response, Stutzman's campaign manager, ma campaign manager also believes some in the district are trying to push their own political agenda by involving the press today. We'll fill you in on that part of the story coming up at 6. Reporting live in News Control tonight, I'm Aisha Hasni, News Channel 15.